I'm gonna teach you step by step on how I was able to make just under $9,000 day trading options in the stock market. Now, before we even get into this video, I wanna post my PL from eTrade.com just to show my transparency. I wanna be very honest and blunt in this video because I wanna give you a real understanding on what it takes to make $9,000 in a day day trading options. If you guys would like to, you can skip to the end of this video where you can see the entire live trade. I do have everything timestamped in the description below so you guys can skip right to it. But I really would like to teach you on how I was able to perform this trade so that you can apply what you learned in this video to your own trading and hopefully be able to see similar results. And I really think the best way to be able to teach this is to break this video down into three different sections. First is going to be account size, second is going to be emotion, and third but not least is going to be the chart preparation and really just chart analysis. So let's start with the most important point on how I was able to make this $9,000, which is account size. Account size is something I think a lot of new traders overlook and they don't really understand how important it is. We all know the saying, it takes money to make money and stock trading is no different. Now, I'm not here to sell you some sort of unrealistic dream of investing $100 in your Robinhood account and waking up with a $10,000 return. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen very often. So on average, I usually trade anywhere between 60 to $70,000 and I try to make somewhere between a six to 8% return. That is going to be my average trading day and on my great trading days, I might get somewhere above 15%. So let's break this down into a very easy scenario. Imagine if you had a $100 account. Well, with an 8% return, you're looking at around an $8 profit. Same exact thing if we had a great day, a 15% return is going to be a $15 profit. Now let's bump it up a notch. If you had a $10,000 account, you're looking for about an $800 return or on your great day, somewhere around $1,500. And as as we continue to progress all the way on up, I look for anywhere between $3,000 to $4,000 per day. And on a great day, I might be able to bring in somewhere between eight to $9,000. Now results are going to vary depending on the strategy that you use, but throughout my records and throughout my stats, I look for somewhere between that 5% up towards around 15% return per day. So what's the most important thing to understand here? Well, I think a lot of new traders focus on their dollar value and not their percentage value, which is where they start finding discouragement. I could understand if you watched me trade and I made $4,000 on a day and you said, well, Sean, I only made $1,000 on a day, but you only have a $2,000 account. That means you actually traded 40% better than I made because I was only able to make around a 8% return while you were able to make a 40% return. This is what you need to take into account. Start thinking about your returns every single day based off percentage value, not dollar amount. So the reason why I wanted to go into point number one so much about account value is because I feel like so many people don't realize this, especially with today and the power of social media. I mean, I could go on Instagram, go on TikTok and see a ton of ads where it's a whole bunch of kids driving these supercars, traveling the world, and you get lost up in expectations. You get lost in what you expect is going to happen within a day. And it doesn't matter if it's trading, if it's business or it's fitness, everything is going to take time that's going to have productive results. Nothing rewarding happens overnight. Everything rewarding happens throughout time. A very simple way to be able to grasp this is let's think about day trading as if we had to get a degree, go to a university just for day trading. Well, when I think of very high respected jobs, I think of a lawyer, I think of a surgeon or a doctor, I think of an engineer. Now, what do all of those have in common? Well, they usually need at least a four year degree and most of them are going to need an eight year degree. And you can kind of figure out that usually the jobs that require more schooling are going to be the jobs that you get the highest paid salary. Now, I don't know where it gets lost throughout social media, but when I think of stock trading and day trading and working on Wall Street, that's almost as high as you can get. That is higher to me than being a surgeon or being a lawyer. You are working the financial markets of the United States, and to me, that's the best job in the world. But so many traders get caught up in the fact that since we have mobile broker accessibility and since we could just deposit money at the end of our fingertips, we wanna start stock trading right away. And that is going to be a very big problem. You must understand that I've been trading now for almost 10 years and I can look back and every single year, I can say, wow, I'm a much better trader this year. If I traded my first year of real money, I would have blown everything. Then year two, I look back at year one and I say, wow, that was absolutely awful. Thank goodness I'm on year three. Then I look back on year three when I'm on year four and I say, wow, I can't believe I even had any success. I didn't know what I was doing. And every single year I learn more. 
Now, I'm not saying that it's gonna take you four to eight years to be successful in the stock market, but what I want you to really be able to grasp is you are going to be much better than your prior year. So there's nothing wrong with staying small or paper trading. I paper traded for the first 12 months of my stock trading career, and I say one of the biggest blessings in my life is that I was a typical poor college kid. I only had a small amount of funds going into each year of college, and I wanted to become a stock trader, but had no choice but to paper trade. And if I had real money right away, I probably would have put my money in and lost it all. But since I was a broke college kid, I was forced to paper trade. And my first month, I lost everything. Second month, I lost everything. Six month, I lost everything. One year, I lost everything. And then finally, it started clicking. We all want results, but results don't happen overnight. Fitness, results don't happen overnight. Business, results don't happen overnight. I want everyone watching this to be a successful stock trader, but remember, you are a freshman starting right now. Make sure you get to junior year before you truly start gaining a grasp on how to be able to trade the stock market. So the second point I wanna go over is patience. Warren Buffett has one of the best quotes of all time where he says the stock market is a device to move money from the impatient to the patient. So what does Warren mean by this? Well, essentially patience is going to be extremely tough to control because it comes down to your emotions. And it's very difficult to mix emotions and greed, two things that do not go well with each other at all. It's like oil and vinegar. But how does emotions apply to our stock trading or how does patience apply to our stock trading? Let's think about this into two different sections. Number one is going to be our entry, getting into the play that we want to invest into. Now, as you'll see in my live trade, I wait for the entry that I believe is going to be the best. A lot of times we fall into what we call FOMO in stock trading, which is the fear of missing out. In stock trading, you can jump into a play whenever you would like. So it's difficult to wait for that exact price point because maybe you missed that price point by a couple of cents, maybe by a couple of dollars and you are correct the entire time. After being able to go through this experience a few times, you start jumping in a little bit early just to find out if you waited, you would have had a much better entry. Now, the second part of patience is actually allowing your play to develop and letting your profits grow. I see a lot of new traders take profits quickly and I'm never going to knock someone for taking green, but I think a bad habit that a lot of people develop is they take profits so quickly because they don't want to lose it. But when they have their losing trades, they hold it so much longer, hoping that they go into the green. So really after a few months of trading, you realize that you have very small wins and you have very large losses and it's the exact opposite of what we should have. So how can we hold longer? Well, hold longer really all comes down to confidence. You did your research, you studied the chart, you studied the stock, you know this investment. Allow the play to be able to produce profit for you. If you are locking in profits extremely quickly, that's because you don't trust your plan or you just don't trust your trading yet. And you feel like maybe you're just getting lucky off a gamble. This is not gambling. And if you treat the stock market as a casino, don't be the tourist, be the house. And the third and final point that I wanna be going over is understanding chart reading and technical analysis. Something I say every single day on the live stream is great stock traders don't buy at highs and they don't sell at lows. We must understand that great stock traders actually buy when there's reversals. If that reversal is up or down, if a stock is moving up extremely high, we don't want to chase the top and buy in when everyone's about to sell on us. We want to be able to get put contracts or shorts at the top and figure out where reversals are going to happen. Same exact thing when stocks are falling. We don't want to do put contracts or shorts when the stock has already dropped. We want to start looking for calls and where reversals are going to happen. So that's going to be the core foundation of my strategy, being able to understand and see when is the stock going to reverse? And if I could be able to figure out when these reversals happen, I'm going to be able to win nearly every single time. One of the best ways to be able to figure this out is look at past chart history pattern. So let's look at the live stream right now. Let's break this on down and let me walk you through this live trade on what I was looking for. So here we are taking a look at the S&P 500 and I want to teach you the exact strategy that I used on Friday to be able to make just underneath $9,000. I was actually only off by seven cents that I said the high is going to be 416.90 and actually the high comes up to 416.97. So what did I see in this pattern? What did I see in this chart? Well, I think the most important thing to begin with is when we are looking at where stocks are going to reverse, be in a larger time frame. When we take a look over in a one minute time frame, 
It's so easy to get caught up on what's the high, what's not a high, looking at different trend lines. And I feel like trading in a one minute time frame after maybe the first 10 minutes of the day is just asking for trouble. When I'm really looking to see where's the stock truly going to reverse, I always take a step back. Because when you take a step back, you're just going to be able to get a much better view. For instance, if you want a better situation or be able to understand this in a way that you guys can relate to, take your cell phone right now and open up your text messages and try to read a text message this close to your face. It's very difficult to read. And that's because you're so close to it, you can't make out the lettering. Now, same exact thing if you wanna take a very, very far step away. If you take too far step away, you're not gonna be able to read it either because the text is so little, you won't be able to figure out what's going on. So it's really about finding that happy medium. And I don't go any farther back than a daily chart. I don't need to look at a monthly or multi-year chart. I stick with a five minute chart and I move myself back as needed. So let's imagine it is Friday. We can say to ourselves, it's Friday, February 3rd at this moment and we're trying to figure out where this high is going to be now we know this high did come out to the price of 416.97 and how i started looking at this play is first things first i always look at pre-market and when i take a look at pre-market I can see that we do have these long upper shadows. These long upper shadows indicated that we got up towards around this 416.90 mark and then we started seeing a reversal. So that stuck in my head right away and then I started moving back a little bit and I said on Thursday we closed right underneath this 41690 mark. It closed right around 41675. Then I can also see we have a lot of resistance right around 41690 and we also hit 41690 and we also hit 41690. So if I put this in a red line here and I start saying to myself, hmm, every time we come up towards around 41690, it shows that we usually have some sort of reversal. So hey, even if I'm wrong, even if I'm wrong and this is not the exact high of the day, I can still expect that there's probably going to be hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of other investors out in the world that are probably going to be saying to themselves, hey, let me lock in profits around 416.90 because other traders have locked in 416.90. But let's get more confirmation on this. And what's the best way to get more confirmation is to go back a bigger time frame. Now you'll notice when I go back in a bigger time frame, there's nothing up towards around 416.90. So we have to keep going back until we at least have have the trend somewhere around this area. And we actually have to go all the way back down to the daily chart. But what you guys will see on the daily chart actually may shock you. And this is how simple sometimes stock trading can be. So if I take a look at this chart, and I'm just taking a screenshot so I can draw on this for you, we can see that we come up to this red line, and that was from the previous day. We hit 416.90 and we started reversing back on down. And then we look at these charts and we could see we actually gap down once to 416.90. We actually, again, bounce off 416.90. We have top resistance at 416.90. Let's actually go back through the chart here. And you can realize that every time we come up around this area right here, 416.90 seems to hold up. And we also have some bouncing here. And very odd, as we were in last year, you could see 416.90, 416.90. If we wanna keep even going farther back in the chart, we can see that 416.90 has some sort of power behind it. So let's actually scroll back here and notice we got bounce plays right around 416.75, 416.90. So you're telling me that other investors throughout Wall Street aren't realizing this either? You're telling me that every time we either bounce off this area, and this is what I talked about before, reversals. We don't need to figure out what's the best play in the stock market. We don't need to be able to figure out what's the best investment out there. All we need to be able to figure out is what stock is currently moving. In this case, you know, the S&P 500, the ETF was very hot this day. And I wanna be able to figure out where are we going to see this reversal? And we have a bounce, we have a bounce, we have a bounce. We have top resistance, resistance. We have reversal, reversal. And I'm saying to myself, hey, we've just had a beautiful run up over the past month and a half. Don't you think it would make sense that investors are probably going to be locking in some sort of profits because they're scared of the past chart history pattern? Past chart history pattern has a huge emotional and psychological factor behind it. So if we ever start breaking, let's say in this upcoming week, we break 41690. I'm gonna start saying to myself, where would a reversal happen? Now, I want you guys to pause the video here for a second and try to figure out, take a look over on the S&P 500 and say where by looking at the daily chart looks like the area that is going to have the most common sense where other traders are going to get fearful. So what do you guys got? To me, it looks like I'm gonna start off with this top point right here and I'm going to adjust. And let's put this into a dark blue and let's just see this dark blue area. Would this be an area where traders would reverse that? Now, taking a look at the past, I'm actually going to adjust this slightly and I'm gonna start getting my area. 
And my area to me at this moment is going to be somewhere right around this 429 mark. So if we start getting a bull rally over the next week or over the next two weeks, let's take a look at where other traders may start taking some sort of profits. Or if I am a call trader, let's say I'm betting that the market's gonna move on up, where would I wanna start taking my gains? And if I take a look right here, I could see, okay, we come on up towards around this 429 mark, we reverse there. And I can also see we reversed here. And I can also see we reversed here. I can also see we reversed here. I can also see we bounced here. I can also see that we bounced here. And I can also see that we bounced back here. So as we come on up towards this possible new area, wouldn't it make sense that doing some sort of put contract around 429 would be a great area to start jumping in on this play? Think about it as psychology. Think about it as emotion. Because when we think about why stocks go up and why stocks go down, it's when the majority of people, the majority of investors either buy or sell. And I have a very, very, very strong feeling that somewhere around this 429 mark, people are gonna start taking some profits. Could it go higher? Absolutely, the stock market can always go higher. But for this day, for this time, I should be able to be able to make a nice profit off that 429 mark. So let's take this on over towards my live trade. And I want you guys to think about everything we've talked about so far. So let's think about patience. Let's think about the chart patterns. And let's also think about the account size on how much money I'm investing and think about a percentage return on how much money I'm getting out of it. And if you guys do wanna see me live trade every single day, I do live stream my trading over on tradecaster.com. I dropped a free seven day pass in the description below, so make sure you guys go check that on out. There's no payment needed up front. Check it out your first free seven days and see if it's for you. If you guys love it, hey, stick with it. And if you guys don't like it, well, you guys always have my free YouTube content. All I want is the best for you guys. Go back to this five minute time frame. We still got a nice little room to rip and run. Deck, how high are we gonna go up to? I'm calling the high of the day, 41690 is what I'm calling here, team. Put contracts, getting ready, going on down for the put side. Taking a look, 15 minute time frame. We got top, top, top. That's a little bit higher. That's slightly higher, 41690, team. 41690, pull the trigger. That's where I wanna get in. We got up towards a high though so far of right here, 41654. I wanna see a little break of that. See how we have a little bit more room to run? We are coming on up towards this red line. This red line at this moment. Moment. Shows a nice top, 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 shows a nice top. And I think it could be a very perfect top area in that, you know, 1490 mark. So 1490 is my goal. I know we have not hit that yet, but I want to see if it can get one more last high of the day. Top, 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 top. A few moments later. Little heads up for you, every single person. We just hit our area, traders. Guys, we just hit our area. I just jumped in. 41690. I just jumped in. I'm currently up $4,700. So just let little heads Heads up, I want to show everyone my PL. I just got in as we came on up, 1138. Look what time it is right now. It's 1139 right now. So I just jumped in a minute ago, currently up $4,600 at this moment. From this trend line crack at the price, what did I say? 41690 is what I wanted. Right now, we're currently up $6,000 almost on this trade. I have 30 contracts, $6,200 looking for this reversal. What area did I say I wanted? What area did I say I wanted, ladies and gentlemen? So you could see that. S&P 500 get that perfect reversal at the area that we called on out. The area that we believed the market was going to drop and fade and fall and get this weakness. I do think that we are topping on out. I do think that the S&P 500 is, you know, right next to a high area. When we take a look over on this play, we just have a lot of tops up towards this region. We have a lot of tops right around that 417 area. Top, 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 top. And then of course, I think a lot of tops where we could start fading and start dropping and start getting weaker. So I'm telling every single person in this, I am going to be holding this for a while. Deck, when would you get out of this play? I'm going to get out of this play if it ever comes back up to 417. Unless it comes back up to 417, I am not going to get out of this play. Okay? So I am going to hold tight. If you're saying, Deck, you're going to lock in your profits right here. You're going to lock in again your 2,000 bucks or so. I am not going to. I am going to hold this a little bit longer. I'm going to basically, again, have my stop loss up next to my entry, which is going to be a lot closer up near around like 416.50 or so. I did not get filled right at the tippity top. I started getting filled the moment that the trend line started cracking, but it's great to see that this trend line is already getting weaker. We got a nice dump all the way down towards 415. I know it's getting a bounce play back on up, but unless we hit a new high of the day, I'm going to keep on holding right now. Currently, again, on that trend line, we did get a nice drop, but I am expecting it to be able to fall back on down and crack even more. I will again leave my PL box on the bottom right hand corner so everyone can continue to watch that. Right now, we got a nice little drop currently coming back on up around $3,700 in gains at this moment. I am expecting this one to fall back on down underneath 415. 
15 today. So it should be roughly, I'm thinking like a $10,000 day. And with my expiration date all the way out until next Wednesday, I think this could be even bigger. So if it comes down to my, you know, to my target, I'm definitely going to lock in my gains and take my profits. But I still think we can fall on down towards roughly this orange line. This is the goal to be able to lock some things on up underneath the price of 415 should be roughly a $10,000 day. Let this bad boy dump. Let it crack. Oh guys, here we go. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. We're already up. We're already up right here. 415 starting to get a little bit of a drop. Guys, we're already coming on down towards our area. We're up $7,000 at this moment. SPX. We are seeing the stock, you know, get that nice big drop here. $7,000 in profit. Should we just take a $7,000 profit team or we let it go even more? Here it is starting to get a little bit of a fade. 7,000. Watch SPY team. Let this thing dump on it. Let it dump, baby. Look at that red candle. <laughs> right now we're up 9,000. Now we're up 9,000, baby. I'm going to lock in half. Lock in half right here. Now we're up $9,000 at this moment. Just locked in half. We're going to see if it can keep on going underneath 415. Keep going underneath. We already locked in $4,500. Now we're locking in the other half, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Welcome to the show today, people. Welcome to the show today. Welcome. Oh, baby. Nice job. Just locked in $9,000 in profit. Woo! If you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up and help me reach my goal of getting to 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year. It would mean the world to me if you guys like this video. Comment below and share it with a friend. Thank you so much. I hope everyone has an absolutely wonderful day.